A couple of weeks ago, I brought something new to the table. I showcased a new game that I don't think many people have actually heard of before, and it went down very well with the community. A lot of people love the look of it because it's something unique and something we haven't really seen before. Now if you want to go and check more about the game, I definitely recommend you guys go and watch my videos a couple of weeks back where I go into depth and detail what this game is all about. But in this video I'm going to give you a quick fire update on some of the new information we have. But just before I start this video, if you want to go and support this game, the Kickstarter has three days left and we've got to get about 40,000 euros in that three days. So please, if you want to support this game, please go down to the description below. But let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that we have actually been told is that it's not going to stop at the Neolithic era. I did hint at this in the other video because we did have some sort of idea that they want to kind of push this game forward, not just staying in this Neolithic era. The first expansion is going to be on the Ice Age. Now I think this is an awesome place to go since what game goes into the Ice Age? We've not seen this in the gaming industry, I don't think ever, I can't think of any games, there may be some out there, but not that I can really think of. This is such a great place to go, surviving the frozen wastelands here, hunting down mammoths and smilodons with your tribes and going to war with other neighbouring tribes as well, but in the Ice Age. The second expansion that they're hoping to put in that has been announced so far, but it does need a little bit more money for this expansion to come about, is a Middle East expansion. Now this is going to be very interesting because this is also set in the Neolithic era so it's going to be around the same era as the base game that we have. But it's in the Middle East so we're probably going to get some deserty areas, it's going to be harder to find water, it's going to face new challenges for the player. So it looks like they're trying to keep this game very similar in the terms of expansions but they're putting the player in different situations so they have to survive and adapt to these different times as well. Not only will you be staying in the Neolithic era but you will be expanding through time through the Bronze Age, the Iron Age and all that good stuff. So it's going to be evolving as time goes on so you're not going to be staying in one place for too long. They've also been looking at ancient Greece, Rome and things like that but we don't have any confirmation of that so I wouldn't hold that to the developers. The next thing we know is to do with some of the other pledges they have. They said they want to get this game DRM free. Now DRM is kind of the bane of a lot of PC gamers, so I'm very glad that they're trying to get this free. Get it on Good Old Games and itch.io as well in there. Some new information has come out about the citizens that you kind of control in this game. Or should I say, not really control. There's a little bit of new gameplay to sort of reinforce this as well. And the reason I say not really control is because yes, this is a city builder. You have to use strategy to build this city up for the way that will work for you. It needs to be defensible against other enemies, but it also needs to be very resourceful and good for an economy. But the reason I say that you might not be able to control your workers so well is that they're trying to program it so each individual person, each individual AI has their own mindset. For example, they all have their own aspirations, they all have their own decisions, and all their goals are very different to each other. So one, you might set to go and be a lumberjack, but what if they don't want to do that? If they start to disagree with you, it might cause tension in your tribe, it might cause tension in your village and your city, that might cause riots and it might cause people to leave or even die. It's going to be really cool to see what the mechanics will work like this. Maybe if someone leaves, they take a few people with them, then they start their own neighbouring tribe. Later on, you might have to defend yourself against them since they have a bit of a grudge on you. I really like this whole system, the AI, how they're trying to improve it and make it really cool and realistic for the player and cause even more situations for you as a player to deal with. It talks about how each citizen has a set of attributes or inheritance from their parents or relatives before them. Because as I said before, the economy, the world, everything is moving. Each player, each person, each animal, each plant is living and growing and dying and being replaced with a new thing. This means that your men, your people will live and they'll also die in their life. But if they've given birth to children in this lifetime, then some of their attributes will be given down to their children as well. Some obviously can be learned and modified along their life, for example things like they can become better builders or better workers or better soldiers, things like that. That kind of depends on what they do within their life, not necessarily inheritance from their parents. But of course some AI and some men or women in your village are going to have more tendencies to be more aggressive or more shy or things like that. I'm kind of speculating on those sort of things that they'll get from their parents. I'd love to see some more information on that as well. So how would you control your people then if they do all this sort of thing on their own and there's not much you can do? Well, 
It talks about how you can set tasks for them. You can decide what they do. Not necessarily that they will do these happily, but of course you can manage each citizen doing what they need to do. But the Kickstarter does say that you will get clues about why they act as they do. This is interesting because it means the AI is not only going to do these things to sort of trick the player and get the player out of it and put up more challenges for the player in the game, but there's also going to be some leading up to it. Maybe there's going to be people going around talking to each other. Maybe there's going to be sort of people stealing from stuff, people getting beaten up, sort of things like that that kind of leave hints that people are in unrest and then finally there's going to be an all out riot. So it's not just click and everyone starts having to go at each other or everyone runs away. There's also going to be hints and stuff that lead up to it that you're going to have to watch out for and try and evolve your city or your village in order to keep people as happy as possible. And I think this adds a really nice little strategy to it. But that's pretty much all the information we have so far on Ancient Cities. Like I said before, my previous video looked at it in a lot more detail. But remember, link down in the description to the Kickstarter. Let's see if we can get this across the finish line and we'll be able to see this awesome game and all its expansions that are planned in the future. I'll definitely be bringing you more information on it as it comes out and I'll be getting in contact with the developers, see if they can give us some more info on that. But until then, I will see you in the next one.